Welcome to another episode of Tea Time and thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin and of course on this program we analyze the biggest intimate stories. I've got my co-anchor with me, Ife Uluwa Oshanke. What up? Hi. A <sighs> huge day. Uh, well, yeah, an interesting <laughs> day actually. Very interesting, like, yeah. My mind was on the last conversation and I remembered, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. An interesting very, day. Very I wish I could spill the tea. But I'm trying to be the bigger person, yeah. <laughs> that pun intended actually bigger person yeah true okay uh moving on to the conversation for this episode president muhammad buhari approves november 1st as national youth day in nigeria minister of youth and sports development sunday diary midday announcement via twitter the national youth day will be a day to celebrate youths draw attention to and find solutions to um the issues that affect the youth um, he went on to say Mr. President has again demonstrated his commitment to supporting youth-focused policies. Okay, so I saw this. I was impressed. I said, finally, we're beginning to have a voice. People are beginning to notice the youth. People are beginning to take us seriously. People are beginning to talk about what we do. Mm. People are beginning to have interest in our initiative. People mm -hmm. are beginning to have interest in our ideas. And um, I now saw the part of 75 billion Naira budget. That's that is, not news now. Remember the essay to the Minister of Youth was on Tea Time and she talked yeah, about Yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, and I remember that. So, but another thing that got me worried mm -hmm. is that look even as bad as big brother mm -hmm. I, mean, I said as bad sorry my bad as little as big brother before they call out the result they will tell you that this was put together by social company they will tell you the people who accumulated the vote and all of mm. that but in this case i was expecting to see there's a 75 billion and there is a body that has been appointed and this this this, this person is and they will account for every cobble i did not see anywhere where if accountability for his buried no then the man shouldn't come and die before i understand his death the 75 <laughs> billion has not even said being disbursed yet. I think the um, opening is supposed to start in October or this month. I'm not quite sure, but mm. it's not started yet. And that's the one she was saying go to noya.ng to get information. No that's noya.ng. No so the entry, you, yes, the funds are going to be made available, but mm. people have not started applying for it yet. So I think when the process starts, that you know the body that is. But the website, the body you can visit is, the website. Yeah, so it. visit the website and find out. You know, this is the problem. We make a lot of excuses for a lot of people, <laughs> and which is the reason why we do not get transparency because we do not expect it. If, 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 if this you're was trying another. To talk about other um, projects maybe that um, have have been executed uh, you know maybe we that's what I'm saying don't bury a man before the man but is you dead. know let well, us start on. burying them and holding them accountable so that they can know that we are serious then about just accountability. ask questions and not accuse them of not doing what is not gotten to the time when they are okay. supposed to do it anyways you know that's what i'm saying well that's fine that's i understand where you're coming did you see from, the news of I'm the just... 774,000 jobs the controversy I'm ongoing on that one so and i'm yeah. wondering like but at the end of the day we need to talk about accountability we need to be tr more transparent with our funds yeah. we've mm -hmm. seen a lot of money that has been put into things that we did not see the effect or would not see the mm. impact of those mm. things i'm just hoping that this is not one of those things that we will have well. we have a lot of youths in this country, I think it's even dominated by youths. And then you, you're now going to tell me that 10, 100 people, 10 to 100 people get the benefit of this initiative. And then you feel like you've done your job out of 75 billion. Were you giving yeah, out? Can't you be that way. Can't yeah. be that way. I'm, 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 I'm just I'm being saying. very optimistic about this one. I remember you asked her the same question on that day. Yeah. She said that um, one of the measures they're going to put in place is to ensure that the money leaves the coffers of the government straight to the entrepreneurs who win. I know that doesn't really rule out any shadiness, Corruption. right? But I mean, I'm hoping that there would there would be measures put in place to ensure that the funds get to the right people because 75 billion is not 75 million. <laughs> it's yeah. not even 75 naira. Yeah, we are going as far. It's not 75,000. So, um, I'm, I'm hopeful. 75,000 can change your life. This National Youth Day, according to um, the Minister of Youth and Sport Development, is supposed to be that day where youths um, would 
Um, I mean, you can come around and talk about what worries you on every sector from entertainment to um, judiciary to politics to sports to, I mean, every area that affects you, you we can have that conversation and be sure that, yes, since you've called it the National Youth Day, you should be tuned in on every platform to be able to listen to what these people are going to um, cry out about or commend you for or expect from you. So I think it's a welcome development. And I'm hoping that from this 1st of November, all platforms and all youth with voice would champion the right conversation and, and not just try to thank point you for fingers. That. Yeah, just have conversations that are critical and facts driven. Thank you for yeah. bringing that up because um, I've had a few conversations with a few people and I would say, okay, so what are some of the challenges you think the youth in Nigeria are facing? Mm -hmm. And they all keep saying, ah, the government, bad leadership. But no, that's not what we want to hear right now. Now, we, we don't expect you to come out. Let us come out with brilliant ideas, which mm -hmm. is why I think the youth should always, should also send in a message to 090-6000. Five seven one nine. Five, seven, ah, you're getting one, better. All Aww. right. So just send 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 in your thoughts on what you think, what initiatives should be put in place for the youth since um, we now have the attention of President Muhammad Buhari. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on to the next story. Rihanna becomes first female American artist to earn eight platinum studio albums. She has also won nine Grammy Awards and eight Billboard Music Awards throughout her career. So Shout out to the queen. People are still dragging her for not releasing music, but she keeps but winning. Guess what? I'm, I'm now beginning to think, I think this was the plan. Because if you don't get an album for somebody, right, mm -hmm. you won't stop listening and stop streaming and stop buying the old ones. Mm -hmm. Now, could this be part? I don't know. I'm just mm -hmm. saying. I'm now beginning to think that. that could this rugged man will have a Grammy as well. Now, what's that? That's you have to I just was. drag rugged. No, 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 it's not just, I'm just <laughs> saying. That was the name that could come to mind because I, 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 before we came on, I watched a clip of him talking. I think I watched it on your page where he was talking mm. about um, SARS and mm. all that, the campaign. So, he was in my mind. So, it's mm. not a shade or anything. But I don't think it works like that. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, I'm it just saying that out. maybe, just maybe, that's what the plan has always been so that you guys can keep buying till they all get to platinum because mm. it's it's very it's a funny coincidence fair, that they the just eight of them. congratulate a woman that has done good oh yes i know i, I i'm very happy you know i've been rihanna with whom i am well pleased don't judge i'm not dragging <laughs> with you i'm not dragging with don't judge in any shape or form but for the people who have been saying it i just want you to know that sometimes it's yeah consistency matters but mm -hmm. At the end of the day, if other people decide that I want to use my platform to focus on other things, then and let things them. that matter as well. Yeah, things that matter. Fashion is very important. Fenty is no joke. It's helping. Don't forget her tropical everybody. part, which yeah. is what I'm talking about. And big shout out to Rihanna for still winning, regardless. Eight, nine Grammy Award, eight Billboard Award, nine Platinum. Award. Come on. It's Platinum. Okay. Anyway, tea time continues right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, yeah. and Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like what? <laughs> Welcome back. This is Duty Time on Plus TV Africa. Nigerian dance hall artist Bato Rankin during an interview has revealed that the environment he grew up inspires um, his music. Um, according to him, quotes, Abule simply means hood or ghetto. So when making a song, all I do is just have a reflection about where I am from or where I come from and then I write. I was thinking about the party life in the ghetto, how we party, how it is, the things that happen there, end of quote. Mekata, you wait here for Abule. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Abule to me was a village, though. I, th yes, I always know. thought Abule was a village and not a ghetto. Uh, uh, yeah, I get what you're saying. But, I mean, everywhere is somebody's village. I hope you know that. Yeah, true Even that. this position, this this location is somebody's village. 
<laughs> or somebody's hometown. Maybe that's, that's the right one. Oh, yeah. this location. Ah, I thought you were talking about where we are seated. I, no, no, no. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria Island, of course. There are yeah. people from Lagos Island. Mm -hmm. and um, Yes, of course. There are people like that. Mm. But um, I like how Paterangian said it. But in this case, I felt like he was just talking about one song, Gabuli, you get. But um, if you know Paterangian's story, because this is somebody who has a history in Ghana, and he um, also, no, I don't know, I, I, I didn't see him, I can't confirm this, but it's been rumored that he was also a mason. He was a bricklayer, you know, assisting and all of that, doing menial jobs and stuff like that. So you would know that this is somebody who has a grass to grace story. So it's a good reflection in his music too. And I've listened to this album three. It's, it's a solid album, very well put together, not in short of what Pato Rankin, and I think Pato Rankin is one of those underrated artists as well, because since Pato Rankin came into the scene, I don't think I've heard any bad song from him, mm. even though it may not be my style of music, but it mm. is a song that would become a banger mm -hmm. at the end of the day, or you go to the club, or you go to um, public spaces, and they are playing that song. I may necessarily not download it or buy it, but, or, it. but I can vibe to it. And mm. I think it's one of those people that are really, really, really underrated, that they've really done well from the, for themselves, from where they came from to where they are now. Mm. And um, I think it's a proper success story. And I'm very proud of him, from someone who came from the ghetto to who he is now, you know, uh, different, uh, several exotic yeah. cars and stuff. Wow, okay. So, but then, me, I will confess, I haven't sat down to listen to Pato Ranke's album. I don't know why. Maybe I would give it a try after the show. Um, but um, his singles that have blown, mm. that's the word, yeah? It, it, it's, I usually love them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why I haven't had that urge to say, okay, let me just put Pato Ranke in on my Play Store or whatever and just listen. I haven't done that. So I think I'll do that. But yeah, you know, based on the things I have listened, the ones I have listened to, the singles that gets on radio and... Um, clubs or wherever i mean they are really bangers and i enjoy them so he's doing something good and if that's where his inspiration comes from then maybe once in a while he really should go back to that Ghanaians are not abule. really happy with me right now but i right. still have to say something else a lot of people feel like in as much as sakodia was popular mm -hmm. in nigeria pato Rankin also gave him an additional popularity with no kissing baby and no touching, baby, because I don't that was a nah, song. Sakodi was already big. No, it was already big as at that time, but they feel like no. It's 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 an argument that that's on social media. Yeah, and it's an argument we are having now. Okay, a conversation we're having now. I do not believe that Pato Rankin gave any form of relevance to Sakodi. But with that if song, anything, did, did you like that came, song? Yeah, yes, of course or no? I did. They came together, and, and I think yes. I, one of the reason I also wanted to listen to that song was hearing that Sakodi was on it. I've always been a fan of Sakodi. Mm, yeah. So have, we, before Pato Rankin even you know became came part of ranking so yes it was two amazing artists that came together to give us an amazing song which but is what i felt it. you think know when we were talking it. about the collaboration between kiss daniel and adekunle gold when i said i did not get that first effect that met mm. my expectation mm. that i got from davido mm. and um, kiss daniel mm. and which i also got from this um collaboration i'm talking about now part of ranking and, and Sakodi. Sakodi. Yeah. of course the song has grown on me i love the song um kiss daniel and adekunle have now but i didn't get that you know, of course, initial, first, grad initial grad. yeah. So I mean, they are great artists. I won't. Eh, my Sakodi, don't don't try. No, but think don't about try. it. Think about it. Of all the collaborations that Sakodi has had with a Nigerian artist, mm -hmm. isn't Kissing Baby your best, your favorite? I'll have to really go back to check. Um, because I even, I love his singles anyway. I don't. Yeah, care no, no. Sakodi is an amazing artist. We're yeah. not taking that. No, I'm just saying of all the collaborations. Mm, okay, name names. Maybe that will jiggle my <sighs> mind. Name names. No, I, like don't want to call, the, I don't want to call people. Yeah, before. Enough, no, I don't want to call. But I just mentioned names now, fam. Sakodi and Pato Rankin is a big one for me. Uh -huh. That's all I want to say. I don't want to upset any Ghanaian for that. Okay. Before, before people will ban me from coming no, to my you, second country. Were you asking if um, that's not the best Nigerian Ghanaian collaboration, or you're saying collaboration for um, Sakodi and a Nigerian artist? Yeah, I think so it complemented you know, the Nigerian. Come for you for that one. Just mention no, others no, so I can just remember move on, and please. think. Please, they, they don't love me in Ghana already, which is my second home. Do you want them to hate me in my own country again? Let us just move on. Okay. Moving on to the next story, which I find really funny. Um, future is to pay his baby mama um, hmm, $3,200 in monthly child support after the judge rejected her $53,000 request. And this is monthly, fam. Yeah. Mm. 
I think this baby mama hustle has become a proper hustle. Like you, you need to start having CV now. <laughs> Say ah, <laughs> there has to be a curr curriculum vitae for. I love this picture for this conversation, man. Fifty three thousand dollars. Like fifty three k is a lot of money for you to say, man. Should try. But I like what Future's lawyer did immediately. They said Papa doesn't earn more than thirty thousand dollars. Something that is not even <laughs> enough for his drink in the club. They said that's how much he earns monthly. So mm. why are you gonna be asking for fifty three thousand, which makes a whole lot of sense so i think law is how you're able to argue and how mm. you're able to convince people into what you want them to I believe i just they punching my calculator converting to there i think that was the worst decision i made yesterday hmm. <laughs> i was wondering <laughs> okay what what kind of golden baby food is this baby going to be taking like what kind of apartment you know, you know are you what? going to put the baby i think i think it comes with a sense of entitlement that a lot of women have like okay you're in a relationship with a certain person it didn't work out. You don't want to be with this person anymore. You people share a child. You, um, you both share a child together. And then suddenly you want to continue living that same life. But if that you, you have had. you have defended this for some people and said, yeah, they need to keep up. I'm trying to remember the person you actually expressly defended to say they have to keep up the lifestyle. So that's why they're asking for the money. So what yes, what's they the have difference? to keep up with the lifestyle, but it is not a sense of enti you are not entitled. <sighs> I think it was Sophia Momodu I was talking about. Uh, no, when, no, uh, that was recent. What the conversation I'm talking about is very recent. But uh, I mean, for yeah. me, yeah, no, and, I, I, I agree okay. to paying child support. I mean it's it's okay, it's but it's not very important to pay child support. Um, but having to now make it like um, you now have a, 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 a an oil well in, in Delta State. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, trying to make that kind of income from mm. that is just ridiculous. So um, it's not like you, you you are even in a form of relationship with this person that was so strong that you can prove his finances to say, I know you're getting money from this place. I know you're getting money from this place. Apparently, you don't have those details because if you did, um, you'll probably not be given um, $2,000. That's assuming the lawyers just decided mm. to cook up something to get him off the hook. You get what I'm saying? So um, if you don't have that kind of strong relationship with that kind of person then maybe you should just focus on getting the basic things for your child and ensuring mm. that your child gets all they deserve or all they they need to survive mm. and then go out there to work i mean being a baby mama doesn't turn you handicapped good doesn't point. make you good you know point. so that's how i feel about it very, i think fifty three thousand dollars was just way too much for future i mean he has how many other baby mamas he needs to take care of <laughs> so others. yeah so all those things will have to come into play as well to mm. say how much does he earn how much is he going to give this other child and this is just like a man that has 10 children and you are saying one child you want the child to go to the best schools in nigeria go to the best days everywhere you also have to consider all that child can mm -hmm. he afford that for every other child because he can't be seen to be playing favoritism at the end of the day mm -hmm. yeah so i mean i don't know what she had in mind when she decided to ask for three thousand dollars but um thank god she's getting two thousand three thousand three thousand two thousand you say three thousand, two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> the money wants to scatter your she head. She's <laughs> getting something. Money. Anyway, yeah. moving on to the next story. Beyonce donates $1 million to black-owned small businesses in America. In an official statement from the Twitter page of Beyonce's charity organization known as Begood, it says the American civil rights organization known as National Association for the Advancement of Colored People is the official partner for this initiative. I wish I'd be fair on my was on this table. I really wish so Why? because of, I think I, I I don't know. I don't know. I may be wrong, go if I, before you come for me when you come back. She'll respond to you in this episode, yeah. but I anyway. think she would also say that for you to be um this is based on our belief of cultural appropriation. Oh God. Right? That she would believe that why are you not investing in small businesses in Africa as well? If you mm -hmm. also say you're so okay, you're speaking for a film, man. Yeah, I guess, um, I guess <laughs> so. I guess I'm, I'm not saying this affirmatively. If I can come and say no, no, brother, she they didn't do nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know mm. about that, but in my opinion, I think that um, when we're talking about Africans and then you know you've benefited a lot from the mm. African culture as well. It's only right you give back. And this is the first time I think I'm beginning to understand where Fair Omaya has been coming from all along mm. that saying. But then uh, she's giving back to you who's great grandchildren now. Clode. You were the same person <laughs> who pointed out that 
we have africans living in the diaspora mm -hmm. we have africans and we have african americans mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so she's giving to african americans what happened to the other two sets um, he de she decided all of us are from the same ancestors well, so, have the same color yeah so is our is our, our money our brothers and sisters mm. our business is taking care of them i, I mean just, I but just, kudos to be yeah, say. she's kudos, always yeah. in the news aside from when people are dragging her she's always in the news for either pushing her out an amazing art that she's i think um, people drag on, themselves they don't or, drag that necessarily yeah, actually do or i mean she's doing something to to better people's lives i mean we saw that when the pandemic was so much that she went out with um of course big good as well and mm. other partners mm. where they went out to test people help mm. them ensure that they're okay she's doing well. she's educate doing well. them and all and this is another one in the space of i think in less than five months yeah so um shout out to beyonce and it says stage two so we're probably expecting stage three and mm -hmm. even more so mm -hmm. big shout out to big yeah. good and they, they're actually doing very well yeah i appreciate it yeah we i think if we have uh, a lot more people like this in the world then um maybe maybe which is i think is very impossible but maybe worlds can be circulated to a certain degree but uh, we must have the poor <sighs> and we must have the rich is yeah inevitable. definitely Okay, I'm glad I will be part of the rich. Amen. Yeah, you will. So, come, don't I'm be not selfish. rich yet, fam. Don't be selfish by saying I will. Can you say I'm glad what, we what will? Your mouth? So you can't pray for me. But that's your own. I'm glad we will be part of the rich. Oh, such a sweet I'm boy. the bigger person. Such <laughs> Okay, that was an in-house <laughs> joke, but yeah, that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090 Also, do not forget what um, Ife mentioned earlier regarding sending your opinions regarding the National Youth Day, which is coming up November 1st. So please tweet at us, send your opinions, whatever you want us to discuss on that day, to 090 My thank you as always to go to my co-anchor, Ife Oluwa Oshunke, and right. of course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.